Okay, let's study the convolution properties of the Fourier transform. Uh, we know that if we have the convolution of two functions, the correspondent Fourier transform is equal to the product of the two Fourier, Fourier transform. And now we can um, exploit uh, duality and uh, show that uh, we, we get the other pair, which is if I have uh, the product of two functions, of two signals, the correspondent Fourier transform is equal to the convolution between the single Fourier transforms. Okay? How to prove these results? No, we can derive it from this. Okay? Exploiting duality. And uh, let me remind you that uh, what is the, the duality property. We, we already saw that uh, if I have a, a pair x of t which correspond to x of omega, uh, if you look at the video in which I discuss the, you know, this duality property, um, you take x of omega, you make it a function of time, and then the correspondent Fourier transform is going to be 2 pi capital X of minus omega. So this is pretty, that's the, this is due to duality. Of course, we can do the same for the Fourier transform of y of t. And uh, we're going to have that capital Y of t will correspond to 2 pi y of minus omega. And that is uh, the second application of the duality property. But now, let's apply the duality property to this convolution. So, let me do it here. We have uh, x of t convolved with y of, uh, with, uh, y of t. And we know that the correspondent Fourier transform is x of omega, y of omega. Now, if I, I can exploit the same uh, duality property, what I do? I take this uh, Fourier transform and I make it a function of time. And... Uh, and... Uh, And the correspondent Fourier transform comes from this and it's going to be equal to 2 pi x of minus omega convolved with y of omega. Okay? But now you see that I can rewrite this expression as 2 pi x of omega. What I do, I multiply and divide by 2 pi. So I can regroup this together. And this is already together. Then convolved with 2 pi y of omega and then I'm left over with 1 over 2 pi ok but now what is this? this is the Fourier transform of x of t This 
is the Fourier transform of uh, y of t, capital Y of t. One over two pi. And that's how we prove the, the results. So we have that the, the Fourier transform of this is equal to this. Which is uh, the same as this. Okay? And that's uh, complete uh, the, the lecture, okay? You just, uh, you, have, you just need to relabel uh, x and t as... Uh, capital X and T and Y of T as a small X and small Y. But no, the, the, main, uh, the main idea is here. Thank you.